Hey guys, it's uh, Hitman23 back with you for a second video of the day. Second video of the day. I said I might be back tonight, and here I am. I'm gonna do a quick, um, quick review of my uh, Don Mattingly collection. As you can see, a little preview right there. I'm gonna try to keep this nice and short. I tried doing these the other day, one of these the other day, and it was way too long. It was like 23 minutes, and I was like, yeah, no way. So I'm gonna try to keep this quick, and. Um, you know, I figured it, no time better than now to um, show off my, I don't consider it a super collection as of yet. I only got about maybe 500 or so cards. Um, not quite up there with uh, 85401 and his thousands upon thousands of Barry Bonds cards. But someday maybe I will be. But uh, for no further ado, let's get cracking on this uh, Don Mattingly binder here. So here we're going to start. I pretty much go in chronological order. And I um, hope you all enjoy it. Here we go. So we got first the tops base. And I kind of keep it all in terms of uh, style of card together, um, variations. You know, there's a bunch of variations I, you know, working on getting. And I'm basically just kind of trying to do all the, um, you know, the pretty obtainable stuff first. And then I don't have too much high-end stuff. I think maybe I just have like one relic card that I pulled out of a pack years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, man, he's my man. That's why I named my channel after him. Um, Donnie Baseball, um, Hitman, you you name it. Uh, he was an exciting player to watch. Um, he was a true Yankee. He to me he bridged the gap between I guess the you know the the seventies. Yankees and then the you know the modern Yankees that started you know when Derek Jeter came up in 95 and 96 um, too bad he never made a World Series too bad his back gave out on because I think definitely think this guy would have been a first ballot Hall of Famer hands down um, he was an amazing fielder um, amazing hitter um, he won an MVP batting title um, just I just can't say enough about the guy he was, a, he was just a great all-around baseball player so uh, here we go and I got a bunch of Fleer those Fleer box set stuff and uh, I don't know what I, I tell you I don't know what what a what the threshold is for a super collector I know I'm not there I guess you know like I said maybe 500 different cards but I, I'll get there shortly There's some shine right there for you, Nate. Ding, 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 ding. So, yeah, I've been been a Don Mattingly PC guy for a long time. He was basically one of my first PC guys. You know, the Yankees are on my team, and he was definitely, he is definitely my favorite all-time baseball player. So, um, there we go. I'm also doing, as you saw before in some of my other videos, I'm doing his uh, PSA set registry. And having fun with that, putting that together. But here we go. I got some Skid Row in the background. Yeah, I'm an 80s boy. 80s hair bands. There was really never any controversy with Don Miley. I think the only controversy there was one, one time with him was when uh, he didn't want to cut his hair. You know, the Yankees have that um, that rule with no hair over the collar or whatever. You know, no facial hair. He did, you know, he did rock the 80s mustache, which he is definitely known for. Um, but I think that was the only real, real, only real uh, thing with him back in the day was uh, that time he didn't want to cut his hair. and It was a big to-do. But otherwise, you never heard anything bad about the guy. He was a class act. And... Um, I, uh, like I said before, I wish he had uh, had a longer career. Yeah, a couple of players on the Yankees, unfortunately, you know, him and Thurman Munson, and unfortunately, Thur Thurman's passing, he would have been another Hall of Famer, I believe. Absolutely. And uh, it's a shame that um, his career was, was cut super short. Though I'm not sure if Thurman would have been a Yankee much past where he was, because I know he was looking to... I think he wanted to go back home and play in Cleveland. So, um, not sure if he would have retired as a Yankee, but we'll never know. There's that stuff. 
some score. I'll tell you one thing about um, about Mattingly's rookie, Topps rookie card. I think it's one of the most reprinted cards I've ever seen. There are tons of reprints on that thing. There are so many different ones. I, I, I can't even keep track. So eventually I'll probably have pages just of that and reprints. There's a Sport Flicks. Funky stuff right there. I remember that poster at Don Mattingly, the Hitman poster when he was in the the pinstripe suit with the bat like a machine gun. That was that was classic. That was awesome. But I think we're heading up the end here. I got my small mini cards. And at the end, we got some larger cards. That was a photo I took at a game. Oh, God, that had to be 1980, probably late 80s, 88 or 89, I believe. And uh, that is it, man. That is the Mattingly Collection. And uh, very proud of it. And just wanted to shove it off and show you guys. And this video is running about six minutes. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, that is all I got for tonight, guys. Hope you have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will catch you later. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me a sub. Peace out. And like I always say, may the cardboard gods shine down upon us all. Later.